Hello all you guys out there in Lakerland. Welcome to the May 4th edition of Laker TV. Only one more Friday of school this year, but I guess no one had to tell you that. All this week at Callaway, we have been observing an awareness week, sponsored by the Unified Champion School Club. And today on Laker TV, we're featuring a special member of the UCS organization. As most of you know, this week is UCS Awareness Week, and a lot of you guys have had some really awesome outfits. Monday was Spread the Word to End the Word Day, Tuesday was Superhero Day for Autism Awareness, Wednesday was Decade Day for Down Syndrome Awareness, Thursday was Meme or Vine Day for ADHD, and today is May the 4th Be With You for Anxiety and Depression Awareness. So we talked to an active UCS member, and we learned some interesting things about him. Hello guys, my name is Jay and I'm in, and I'm in sophomore. So what is something you enjoy doing in your free time? Well, I usually like to play some video games in my house, like a men yeah. and Rocket League. Mm -hmm. And usually go outside and work out at the gym. Yeah. I heard you play football. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just managed the team. You managed the team? That's yeah. cool. So do you watch any certain, like, team? Like, what's your favorite team? Um, I usually watch the Alabama Crimson Tide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you have anything, like a favorite subject or anything you like to do in school? Well, I like the cooking class because it teaches me what new things to cook. Yeah, that's cool. You like to cook? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm What's your favorite thing to cook? Um, I really like the cinnamon twists. Yeah, sounds good. So who are some of your friends that you hang out with at school? One of them is Ethan. He's a really nice guy. And he really nice to hang out with. Yeah, that's, that's good. Do you have any siblings or I have a sister in seventh grade named JC. Yeah. Do you have any certain like activity that you like to do? Um, I really like to swim. You like to swim? Yeah. That's cool. Do you like to go into the pool like during the summer? Yeah. Is that what you do? Mm hmm That's cool. This was Avery Jennings for Laker TV. Thanks, Avery, for bringing us that great story about Jaden. Today's program is brought to you by The Love Shack, and today Isaiah brings you some life hacks you can follow to help you with your love life. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Isaiah. Today, The Love Shack, instead of bringing you guys the usual commercial, we're going to bring you four love hacks to help you get a girl. Let's go. Hey girl, I got a question for you. What is it? How would you like to hang out with this guy tonight? I'd love to. You see a movie or maybe you go out to eat? Sure. Alright. Let's go. Okay, uh, I was wondering if you wanted to uh, see a movie tonight? Sure. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, of course. What movie? I didn't think I'd get this far. Uh, I have to think about it. Sam, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out this weekend. No, okay, I'm busy. That's alright. Maybe another time. Okay. See you around. See you around. Hey, Sam. What's up? I was wondering if you wanted to hang out today. Sorry, I can't. I'm busy. Please, <laughs> Sam. Just please hang out with me. Please. I was telling you, don't say I look like chicken little. He's dumb and a coward, and I am not a coward. Hey, babe, what's up? Um, I'm not your babe. Sure you are, you know that, right? Don't touch me. I'll see you around, babe. Don't go, babe. Okay, it's all I'm going to say. He's a coward. So I was telling you, please stop sliding barbecue sauce on my child's head. It's not funny, Sam. If you've got no one, stop. Okay. Why are you touching me so I'm going to hang out, stop. I love that. Cool. <laughs> Hold. 
Today's episode of Every Laker Has a Story features a junior who is proficient in two different languages and not just because she studies a foreign language at school. In fact, neither of her languages are really foreign to her. Producer Adam Burke brings us today's segment. I'm from Veracruz, Mexico, and I'm from a little valley that is called Salvador de Asmiron. I just became a sister about five months ago. It, it's great, except that she wakes up like at one in the morning, you know, stuff. <laughs> Melanie has some hobbies like dancing and track. One thing she does in school is EPA class. Let's see. She has to go first. I love it. It's really fun. They're really funny. We're going to learn some new words today. In the United States, there are approximately 41 million Spanish speakers along with the millions of English speakers. We asked Melanie if there are any disadvantages to speaking two languages. Sometimes you get tongue-tied and you know you might be in front of a class and doing a presentation and all of a sudden you're just like blah, blah, blah. so yeah um but other than that no not really i don't really have a preference except for when i'm with my family i prefer spanish and with my friends here at school i mostly speak english except for my friend myra <laughs> we speak spanglish <laughs> We asked Melanie if she had any advice to beginners in the Spanish language. I would say to study. You need to study. Um, but basically just try your best and you'll get it. It's English and Spanish are like both kind of together. So there's a lot of words in Spanish and um, in English that are very similar. So, I mean... Just make it the best that you can. It's time for a break, Lakers. Stay tuned. We have some cool things coming up. For one, we're making Vines great again. Also, a salute to seniors as they step into the next phase of life and how producers are already trying to recast the Avengers. <laughs> Breaking news, the Avengers are missing. Tryouts for new Avengers are taking place right now. Say your power in your name. I can erase things with my pencil. But what's your name? Eraser Man. Next. Welcome to the team. Say your power in your name. My power is being dangerous. Well, what's your name? The Dangerous Duo. But there's only one of you. That's what makes me so dangerous. Next? Welcome to the team. Come on, Chief. Let's get out of here. No, 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 no I'm no, not doing that. No. Say your power in your name. I wear sweet t-shirts to make me look sweet. Sweet like cherries. What? what? Sweeter than cherries. What? Sweeter than cherries! What, what is your what? name? T-shirt man. I'm gonna have to say no. We can't do Welcome this. to the team. Do I know you from somewhere? No. Uh, power in your name, please. This! <laughs> Next, that, this, this, that, this, this, that, this. What's your name? I'm Batman. Captain Hatman. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. Okay, team. Chucky Barnes has escaped the rat prison. Ah, what do we do? We are assemble.
So here's some vines that really laker my TV. Hi, my name is Michael with a B, and I've been afraid of insects my whole entire- Stop, stop, stop. Where's the B? There's a B! So, basically, what I was saying is, um, oh, man, I can't believe you've done this. Honey, you got a big storm of coming. Who's the hottest Uber driver you ever had? Um, I've never been to Uber Javert. Hi, I'm Kaylee Colson, and I'm going to be your freestyle dance teacher. I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna take a nap right here. Good night. Everybody was kung fu fighting. I'm gonna say it. I don't care that you broke your elbow. With only a couple days left in school, almost all of the freshmen, sophomores, junior, and juniors are jumping for joy. But the soon-to-be graduates have more emotions going through their mind, knowing that, so, that their educational careers are over. Graduation can be very scary, with some going to four-year universities, technical schools, or even going into the workforce. As a soon-to-be senior, I was wondering how the graduating class is feeling about leaving and what their plans are for after high school. I'm excited to graduate. <laughs> Absolutely. I've been counting the days. I'm really ready. I'm going to miss a lot of people for sure, but I'm excited for college some ways yes and some ways no like I want to get it done and over with but I'm not too sure what I want to do after this so um yes I'm going to miss high school there are all my friends here and they won't some of them I won't even be in contact with after high school so I will miss high school I miss nugget day and uh, occasionally the cheesy crispitos that's about it friends and some of the teachers some of the teachers are pretty cool um my plans are to go and work first for a while and then plan to go on to college after I decide of what to do. Go to Murray Stop. State University to become a chemist or art designer. I'm going into Murray State and I've already got some credits with them so I'm going to go ahead and go four years through college and then make my way from there. I'm going to go to WKU and major in biology and then after my four years I'm going to transfer and go to graduate school and I'm going to become a marine biologist in California. I'm going to go straight into college at UK and major in health and human sciences, which is like a pre-med thing. And then I want to be a plastic surgeon, so I'll have to pick another school here in four years or so. Even though no one can predict the future, all of us at Callaway wish the 2018 class a farewell and a happy life. For Lager TV, I'm Caleb Spain. Have those memories to take with you. Definitely, but this marks the end of our show this week. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's show, and as we end off the school year, only seven days left. And as always, keep, keep crushing, crushing it, Callaway. Callaway.